G'day ladies and gentlemen and welcome to episode 1 of Victoria 3 Releasable Nations. So as you guys can see here, we have a bunch of countries to go through. So obviously part 1 today is Albania, but yeah, scrolling for all of this, I mean, oh my days. Yeah, no, that's, that's a lot of countries. Go ahead and quickly count how many there are. 78, 79. Oh my god. So yeah, we got a quite... We've got a quite a couple of nations to get past. <laughs> Alright, so starting, in order for us to play as Albania, obviously we're going to have to jump on in and play as the Ottomans. In order to release a nation, for those who don't know, just come over here to Diplomacy and Release Subject. And as you can see here, we have the wonderful Principality of Albania. And all we're going to do is release as Independent and play as Albania. And bada bing, bada boom. Alright, so we do have a uh, wonderful modifier. We have a 50% agriculture throughput, which is actually pretty cool. So building-wise, uh, fabric is a bit of a pain so i mean we'll go ahead probably build up about two cotton plantations and i think we'll go right ahead and build like two construction sectors to start us off with now with albania we do have iron man's in logging camps now the only disappointing thing is the coal uh but you know that's that's all right because i mean we could probably go to war on the ottomans if we wanted to um but, you know, we, who knows. Now, research rise. Now, we don't even have leaves. Oh, God, that is... Okay, we've got line inventory, which is good. Uh, but everything else, okay, definitely we need to focus on production. So, we'll go ahead and grab leaves. Uh, and then, I think we'll also grab mechanical tools. Um, and hopefully, by the time we research all that, we, we will have access to coal. I mean, we could more than likely just join France or Great Britain's market. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and we'll also go ahead and probably start building some tooling workshops as well. Uh, but for the meantime, uh, we are rank 94th as an insignificant power. Bit terrible. We'll go ahead and raise our taxes, put a consumption tax on services, uh, raise our government uh, wages, and then politics, however, we do have Duke Zet Med... Oh, God. Uh, Jet Mez Jet Meda? Oh, gosh. I'm so sorry if I uh, mispronounced that. Okay, so we do have slave trade, and... We have a bunch of terrible laws, dude. Oh. All right, so we'll go ahead, chuck in the church and the armed forces, and I think we'll go right on ahead and grab religious schools because obviously we do want people to have access to uh, education. We'll also go ahead, put in road maintenance, promote uh, social mobility, and we'll also go ahead and do our uh, wonderful manufacturing industries. Now, the amount of laborers we got, we got about 265,000. So, yeah, we do have a pretty big population to work with, which is actually all right. Uh, so, nothing too crazy will happen at the start. I think, are we in a truce? No, we are not in a truce with the Ottomans. I mean, fair enough. And it seems like, well, Austria, France, and Great Britain would love to have us as a protectorate. Uh, it looks like Spain's disinterest. I mean, of course they are. So, I mean, love to see that. I mean, we do not have a military of some sort. So, I mean, we're literally a three conquer lads. I mean, that's that's not good, like, at all. <laughs> um, con plantations, however, hopefully they can hurry the heck up. I mean, we're going to go ahead and activate iron frame buildings for now. But I think we'll actually go right on ahead and ask to join Great Britain's market because Great Britain is a pretty good market later on in the game to be in. So, I mean, we'll definitely go ahead and do that. Um, yes, decrease the enactment time. So basically, by having access now to the British market, we can have access to fabric, which is going to be very good for our clothes, and obviously craftsmen sewing as well, which will also start making a lot more from our textile mills, which is going to be absolutely... Mwah. Now, to be 100% honest, I really don't know what to do for releasable nations. I mean, to be honest, I kind of just came up with the idea uh, just before I started recording. And you know what? I may regret it, but you know what? You never know. Apparently, we've got a sun. Let's, um... Oh, my days. Oh, my game just crashed. Now, one thing that we can do is we could more than likely conquer Montenegro, which would be pretty good. Um, uh, yes, I guess lower down the enactment time. So I guess we'll go ahead and also build up a couple of barracks. I just say we build about, about five. I think Montenegro should also be on line infantry, if I'm not mistaken. No, they are irregular infantry with cannon artillery. <sighs> Oh, Chief, yeah, you're gonna get absolutely destroyed. Um, Greece as well. I mean, I honestly wouldn't have an abs. I wouldn't have a clue what to do with Greece. I mean, I don't even know. We're pretty far from even being a uh, a minor power. 
So, I mean, yeah, there's quite a lot to do. I mean, we can also now switch over to wrought iron tools so that we can profit a little bit more. Do that. Absolutely wonderful. We do want to grow our GDP as quickly as possible. So then we can uh, probably declare our interest either in Indonesia, uh, down here in uh, Brazil or La Plata, or probably somewhere here in uh, the Western Indies. Or somewhere up here in the Middle East, etc, etc. So, I mean, there's quite a lot of places that we can go to. I just, I don't know which ones I want to go to. I mean, look at the city building. Holy Jesus, our port and our cities are going to be absolutely colliding together. That's, that's absolutely wonderful. Beautiful. And watch and build, watch and build. <gasps> wow, that's, dude, I love seeing that being built in real time. That's so cool. Uh, yeah, we'll take that bureaucracy deficit. Okay, well, institutions, okay, none, right. And we, we got traditionalism? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we, we're coming out of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> oh, that sucks. Okay, well, now that, since we are part of the British market, one thing that I do know is very profitable is grocery stores, man. Because if we come over here to our filters, staple goods, you can see here, man, yeah, dude, uh, the British market, really good to build grocery stores if you're going to join the British market. Um, always seems to work for me when I play like Canada, Australia, etc., etc. So that is pretty, pretty good, and it does help us increase our GDP pretty drastically. So that will be very... Hopefully we can end up getting religious schools uh, because having no... Oh, oh, there we go. Sweet. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, next one we do want to grab is we are going to grab uh, prof oh, no, professional army. Not yet. Try and go for a dedicated police force. I think we'll definitely knock that one out of the park pretty easily. Now, I'm going to go ahead and obviously start bolstering the intelligentsia just up a bit so then we can get the uh, propagandist uh, active, so then we can get a higher migration attraction. Um, but starting off with 1 million uh, pops at the moment, from where we are at economically, it's pretty good. I mean, we still got a lot to grow. I mean, um, at the moment, still doing all right. From the heart of the sea, ah, the trade union's interest group approval. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of useless even having that dude, but you know, that's all right. All right, so Montenegro, they do have a population of 124,000 people. Uh, they also, I think they also have an agriculture throughput bonus. Yes, they do because of the Terra Rossa. Um, so, I mean, we could definitely use that to our advantage. And then we also have the Ottoman Montenegro as well at 181,000. So, I mean, we're going to go right on ahead. I'm sorry, Montenegro. I really don't want to do this. But, hey, buddy, me and you, Ben, confident as hell. <laughs> okay, I decide to uh, change my mind. I do not like this guy. Uh, sorry, Commander. Um, I don't think you are uh, fit uh, to rule out people. I'm going to be 100% honest, my man. I just realized uh, having you... Is going to be like putting everyone on a... Uh, can I be roll while mobilized? Well, he's not mobilized, is he? And buildings, I just realized we're also on line infantry. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? How did that... Wait, what? Bro, he's a regular. I'm sorry, chief. What? Hello? Whoa, what the fuck? What you mean? Big bitch, wait, what? What do you mean by that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How is Montenegro to... Bro, they don't even have anyone on the front line there. How are we at a disadvantage? What? That makes no damn sense. I mean, to be honest, this, this game's entire war system doesn't make sense. But you know what? Fair enough. Um, Alright, boys. Oh, wait. No, dude. We just had like a hundred advantage. And we kind of just like, I don't know, lost it. What? 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 Bro, advance, advance, advance front. Oh! Wait, can we win? Could we win? Could we win? No, of course you don't win. <laughs> Holy shit! As a ruler of Albania, you are goddamn awful. I'm gonna be a hundred percent. I mean, maybe the advantage may change. Okay, that is. Uh, it's too late for it. It's too late for a comeback, chief. Just. Oh, wait. No, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. Come on. Push and push the devils back into their homes. Okay. Don't go down. It's not ticking down. I don't think it's ticking down. 
Oh, 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 do touche, touche. <laughs> very good, very, very good. Okay, so I guess the best part of us is obviously our grocery stores. Uh, so that's very, very good to see. Um, so yeah, this wall is going to come to a very decisive end. And uh, that's Montenegro owls. Beautiful Albanian. We have grown in size. We have gained a little Montenegro. And we've even got a clothing store. No, we need ourselves grocery stores. Lots of grocery stores because that's how we're going to profit, lads. All right, so I'm going to go right on ahead and actually build a... Uh, actually, I'll let this uh, grocery store build first. Uh, let that grocery store build first and then we'll also... Oh, we gained a point of bureaucrats as well. Very nice. Uh, we'll also go right ahead and um, build another construction sector so obviously we can build things a lot more quicker. Um, and we definitely want to go and grab canneries whenever we can, actually. We're going to go ahead and grab that now. Um, and then mechanical tools and mechanized workshops because we don't really need to focus on natural resources uh, for the time being. I mean, to be honest, we wouldn't need... I mean, we can only build six logging camps anyway, so it's not too insane. And uh, we would only build them up if uh, wood was, you know, just a little bit underpriced. But as you can see here, wood... Actually, no, wood is definitely underpriced. Oh, my days. There's a lot of buy orders for that. Uh, so, yeah, no, increasing the wood may be a little bit beneficial, I would say. Um, I mean, we're about to have a level 3 grocery store, which is absolutely amazing. And they're also building... Uh, also got another grocery store building over there as well. Uh, we've got one in Albania and one in Albania and Montenegro. Beautiful. Okay, so, I mean, I do want to start damaging my relations now with the Ottomans. So then we could probably grab uh, the Ottoman Montenegro and then also probably grab Bosnia. Uh, that would be pretty sick uh, to grab from them. I mean, what's our prestige? Okay, it's about 11. So, so far, so good. Um, yeah, we're definitely rolling in the right direction. Okay, I decide to uh, change my mind. I do not like this guy. Uh, sorry, Commander. Um, I don't think you uh, fit uh, to rule out people. I'm going to be 100% honest, my man. I just realized uh, having you... Is going to be like putting everyone on a... Uh, can I be roll while mobilized? Well, he's not mobilized, is he? And buildings, I just realized we're also on line infantry. Not good. Not good at all. Uh, Wait, what the fuck? How did that... Wait, what? Oh, he's a regular. I'm sorry, chief. What? Hello? Whoa, what the fuck? What you mean? Big bitch. What? What do you mean by that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. How is Montenegro... Def Bro, they don't even have anyone on the front line there. How are we at a disadvantage? What? That makes no damn sense. I mean, to be honest, this, this game's entire war system doesn't make sense, but you know what? Fair enough. Um, all right, boys. Oh, wait, no. Dude, we just had like a hundred advantage and we kind of just like, I don't know, lost it. What? 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 Oh, wait. Can we win? Could we win? Could we win? No, of course you don't win. <laughs> Holy shit. As a ruler of Albania, you are goddamn awful. I'm going to be 100%. I mean, maybe the advantage may change. Okay, that is... Uh, it's too late for a, It's too late for a comeback, Chief. Just... Oh, wait! No, maybe it isn't. Maybe it isn't. Come on. Push and push the devils back into their homes. Okay. Don't go down. It's not ticking down. I don't think it's ticking down. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> Dude, touche. Touche. <laughs> Very good. Very, very good. Okay, so I guess the best part of us is obviously our grocery stores. Uh, so that's very, very good to see. Um, so yeah, this wall is going to come to a very decisive end. And uh, that's Montenegro owls. Beautiful Albanian. We have grown in size. We have gained a little Montenegro. And we've even got a clothing store. No, we need ourselves grocery stores. Lots of grocery stores, because that's how we're going to profit, lads. All right, so I'm going to go right on ahead and actually build a... Uh, actually, I'll let this uh, grocery store build first. Uh, let that grocery store build first, and then we'll also... Oh, we gained a point of bureaucrats as well. Very nice. Uh, we'll also go right ahead and um, build another construction sector, so obviously we can build things a lot more quicker. Um, and we definitely want to go and grab canneries whenever we can, actually. We're going to go ahead and grab that now. 
um, and then mechanical tools and mechanized workshops because we don't really need to focus on natural resources uh, for the time being. I mean, to be honest, we wouldn't need, I mean, we can only build six logging camps anyway, so it's not too insane and uh, we would only build them up if uh, wood was... You know, just a little bit underpriced, but as you can see here, wood, actually no, wood is definitely underpriced. Oh my days, there's a lot of buy orders for that. Uh, so yeah, no, increasing the wood may be a little bit beneficial, I would say. Um, I mean, we're about to have a level 3 grocery store, which is absolutely amazing. And they're also building, uh, also got another grocery store building over there as well. Uh, we've got one in Albania and one in Albania and Montenegro. Beautiful. Okay, so, I mean, I do want to start damaging my relations now with the Ottomans, so then we could probably grab uh, the Ottoman Montenegro, and then also probably grab Bosnia. Uh, that would be pretty sick uh, to grab from them. I mean, what's our prestige? Okay, it's about 11. So, so far, so good. Um, yeah, we're definitely rolling in the right direction. All right, so the next law that I want to add, okay, so it's definitely professional army. Was I don't even, that's probably one of the main reasons why we just sucked so much. I mean, we could, we could move over to a presidential republic, which I would so be open up for. Um, but I think we'll, we'll move over to professional army. Definitely want to grab it and get that activated. I mean, we'll definitely be one step ahead. Yeah, you can see here the Ottoman Empire still has our uh, peasant levies activated. A monument to the Duke. No, thank you. Uh, empiricism, beautiful. I mean, we do have some, we have some in institutions unlocked now. So that's very good to see. But I mean, we got lots and lots of grocery stores happening. I mean, dude, look at that. Oh, 5k. I mean, man, these grocery stores, man. They're, okay, so what we're actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this one activate as pot stills. Uh, so then we could obviously focus on uh, one producing alcohol, other obviously our main one producing more, which is obviously this one over here. So doing that will be absolutely wonderful. Uh, but now that's out of the way. Um, okay, so we do want to start also probably building up some, about two more clothing uh, textile mills. And I say we also build ourselves some furniture. And I think we will build some glass works as well. And then I think we'll stack in a, maybe just one university. Uh, so that will be very good to see. <clears throat> but yeah, to be 100% honest, I think I'll play up to like, I think every like releasable nations video, probably all the way up until like 1860, around like that, like one, that first quarter of the game. Um, you know, I mean, I might even continue some of these videos if I do en uh, enjoy the run. Um, but again, I can't really say anything for certain. It looks like our people are also addicted to liquor and wine. <laughs> oh boy, yeah, this is this is a good spot right here. I'm telling y'all now, damn. Got about 25 months left for canneries, which is nice. Now, bad boy Ottoman Empire, what are you up to? What are you up to? Yeah, I mean, we're just da slowly damaging relations. Now, we could... Oh, see, I was going to say, we could probably go after the Ionian Islands, but uh, Great Britain is kind of its protectorate, and uh, that would suck to fight Great Britain. <laughs> it definitely would. Uh, right, 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 right. Okay. Oh, Lord Debate failed. All right, professional army is a no-go, boys. So, all right, let's see if we can chuck anyone else in now. Oh, yes, the Petite Bouguar. Uh, that's pretty good. Uh, okay, let's see what we can move around. Okay, we definitely... Actually, no, the Petite Bouguar is just as bad. All right, chuck in the church. Legitimate government. Beautiful. Terrible. Fuck. All right, no, chuck you in. Chuck the intelligence here in. Be good. Okay, we are definitely heading in the right direction. Um, Slave trade. Yes, let's... Ban slavery. No one opposes that ban. That is very good because, I mean, uh, we get to obviously keep a lot of stuff, you know? Uh, military wage. I'm just going to lower those down. We really, I mean, to be honest, we do. We could just lower down our military just a bit, uh, but you never know. Uh, yes, do the get rid of the interest approval for some of the landowners. Okay, who's fighting in the Ottoman War? Oh, wow, the Ottomans have taken on France. Okay, return to Aleppo and are done. Dude, uh, that is a... Is that an L for the Ottomans? Yeah, that's an L for the Ottomans, dude. Yeah, that is... That's a big L on their part. <laughs> All right, so yeah, it looks like our textile mills are doing pretty well. We'll actually switch them over to dye workshops so we can produce even more t uh, clothes. Uh, grocery stores, once again, we just need to build a lot more. Okay, what's the highest standard of living in the game? Tasmania's got to be up there. Yeah, it's... <laughs> <laughs> it's always Tasmania, dude. 
Uh, what are they, bro? They're just building a bunch. Just, they're just building a bunch of farms. They don't have a single, not a single piece of industry at all. I mean, to be honest, Australia, uh, Tasmania does have like the cleanest air in the world. So I mean, yeah, what can I say? What can I say? Okay, I don't know what's even more stupid, knowing that the Ottomans want to go after Marrakech. I, where is that, Marrakech? The Ottomans want that part of Morocco, bro. What are you doing? I don't even have, wait. What are my game rules? Look, look, uh, it's AI aggression. It's standard. Everything is just normal settings. <laughs> what? Okay, that is... Yeah, no, that is definitely beyond strange. Okay, so I guess for the trade routes, I'm just going to go ahead and keep focusing importing uh, fabric for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably max out our logging camp industries because we may be able to get a good profit out of them anyway. Um, and we are about to finish our furniture manufactory. I mean, look at that. And I mean, the one thing that sucks is we can't really trade because, I mean, uh, we don't really have, uh, uh, I don't, actually, I don't even know why we can't trade. Oh, no, we just, yeah, no, we just can't trade. That's all I know. We just can't trade. I mean, to be honest, if we were to probably max out our military wages, would that bring us up a little bit on the, uh, power scale? No, that's definitely not going to bring us up on the power scale. Um, but to be honest, I don't think we're going to afford a, uh, university for the meantime. Oh, yes, promote the intelligentsia. Yes, sir. And we gained canneries, finally. So we're going to come over here to urban, switch over to canneries, which is going to give us a decent amount. We're going to produce 120 more, uh, groceries than usual. So we're producing about 320, and we are about, wow, we're almost about to be in the top three highest grocery producers in the world. Damn straight, bro. Donuts, cheese, oh, tuna. I, I don't know what I'm telling. I don't know what to say, lads. I mean, to be honest, we're just all over the place. All right, so Ottoman Montenegro 5.8, and obviously we do want to grab a Bosnia. Bosnia being 18.6. So I mean, yeah, it's uh possible we could. Okay, so we can go ahead and stop damaging our relations on the Ottomans, and we are now definitely open up to uh, you know, doing a little bit of damage uh, furniture-wise. We're gonna activate lace and luxury furniture production. Production. So we can get start getting people working in those buildings boys now uh, Definitely after the glass works We will start focusing on it natural resource again because I think iron has kind of went up a bit in price if we take a look here Yeah, we are in a big shortage of iron boys. So we definitely will be able to profit off uh, Britain's little shortage of iron which is gonna be absolutely superb and there we go, we got the glass works up and going. So we're going to go ahead, activate leaded glass. And I think we might as well also activate cer uh, ceramics as well. So that's wonderful. I mean, dude, number one in the world about grocery stores. Still number one. Textile mills, about ninth. Furniture, seventh. Oh, boys, what's our GDP per capita? Oh, it's about 51 in the 51st in the world. So hopefully increasing our GD capita would be... Our, I mean, Tirana, man, is doing absolutely fantastic. Barat's going to start looking great with those logging camps. I mean, we've done pretty well. We've increased our GDP all the way up to 2 million, which is great. And we've banned slavery. Top tier. We've also completed paranoid slave owners. Uh, reform the government. Oh, we can have the industrialists in even better. We're now going to try and go ahead to interventionism, which is very important for us to go to. Now, technology-wise, we do not have currency standards, which we are going to research. So then we can grab per capita taxation. Uh, so doing that will be absolutely perfect. And I mean, look at us go with the logging camps, man. Beautiful. And I mean, our standard of living is actually doing pretty well, considering the fact that we still have our taxes, like, maxed out. I mean, we could also maybe put some consumption tax on some other stuff. But to be honest, I think she'll be right. We do now have intensive agriculture, which will now start to switch over in our rural areas. And I think we'll also move over to gas streetlights and market squares as well for our trade, urban trading centers. I mean, our urban center is actually level 2, which is very nice. Um, I mean, uh, we will start to lower you start going into a bit of debt which i really do not want i really hope Grey Britain fixes a little iron issue later on um i think they they would have by now right no no they're not oh god what's coal looking like coal's also looking pretty bad oh jeez, my mans what is happening i wonder if i'm just taking up everything from my fast growth you know Okay, I mean, our GDP per capita and our GDP seem to be, like, pretty close, which is actually really sick. Love to see that. 
Oh, we can get an Albanian Montenegro building wine output. Oh, absolutely gorgeous. Hopefully, we can actually start profiting out of that a little bit more. So, that's amazing. Uh, okay, we're about 65. I mean, dude, we're halfway to becoming a minor power, but to be 100% honest, dude, we are still pretty far from becoming a minor power. <laughs> we're not too close, but we're also still pretty far at the exact same time. It's kind of like... <sighs> Yeah, bro. I mean, like, oh, that kind of sucks. I mean, there we go. We finally got our first iron mine up and running. I mean, we do not even have that mysteric engine. I'm surprised it actually hasn't uh, started to naturally come over to us. But I mean, it will be all right. Uh, I will. I mean, not many people are working in it. That's that's for sure. I can probably stop building that uh, for now. Uh, yet yeah, no one wants to work it you know what i'll just focus on the grocery stores man you know let's just build a crap ton of grocery stores and just profit on it. i mean we might as well be the highest producing grocery <laughs> bro we might as well just produce him out of like croissants and stuff i mean god damn vacuum canning baking powder oh dude we are definitely going to be hitting we're going to be coming down here for the long haul might as well go baking powder Oh my days. How far is vacuum? Oh, vacuum. Oh, vacuum canning. Oh gosh. Yeah, that, that is quite a while. And we have grabbed interventionism, boys. Let's go. I mean, look at that profit now. We're making about 1.58 because of that change, which is beautiful. And we have finally researched per, uh, currency standards for us to grab per capita taxation. Boys, we are about to put ourselves on the map. I mean, by gosh. And we have a very bad government at the moment. Um, it looks like. Like, oh, they want to preserve land-based taxation. Yeah, no, not going to happen, okay? I'm just I'm just saying it's it's just it's not happening, okay? Uh, we got a lot to do. Um, you know, uh, you know, a lot of people have a very big grocery store standard for us to meet. I mean, dude, look at that. Great Britain's 1.59 thousand, brother. Oh my days. I mean, what's our standard? Dude, our standard living hasn't really dropped. It's just been slowly going there's that one little time where it kind of like dropped and just went so very very nice psychological warfare uh we cannot uh we still need a general oh we get touch and gold discovered in south island holy crap dude we are still making a decent amount of thingy uh a month which is amazing uh, reform the gut. Okay, they really want me to cancel per capita taxation. Well, I do need to form stuff for the government. I mean, that's very annoying that they do not want that. Oh, God, shoot me in the head with a bow and arrow. Okay, well, very, very good. Oh, dude, they were here. <laughs> Just the entire country is going to be working at a grocery store. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can do this and still... Yes, we can still go after per capita. Okay, very good. Okay, hopefully uh, that can still work. I'm really hoping. Uh, no, we still have an illegitimate government. Okay, well, I might as well chuck you in. Um, and actually, might as well chuck both of them in. Okay, yeah. Okay, well, it looks like we'll be in a legitimate government for a while. Okay, guess what? We're doing that. We might as well go ahead and build about... I say we'll build one more construction sector because that may just be enough, but we could also probably build a little bit more. I mean, we are starting to become very, very good when it comes to building groceries. I mean, yeah, when it comes to wood, however, uh, yeah, we do produce a good... We're making about 6,000 from our logging camps. Food industries, 6,000 as well. Textile mills, 4,000. Yeah, we're making big bucks... Everywhere. I mean, to be honest, we probably should also maybe increase our tooling workshops, maybe just a bit. Uh, our iron mines. Okay, looks like they have uh, been put in for a little bit of work, which is very nice to see. I just wish this was enough to push people over the edge a bit. Um, it looks like they are. Oh, yeah, it looks like the revolution is going to start dying down now. So that's amazing. Love to see that. All right, boys. I mean, look at that. We're now the second highest producer in the world. For groceries, I mean, goddamn, bro, we are grocery shopping central. Now that's pretty good, man. Pretty goddamn good. I mean, how about Great Britain's uh, grocery shortage? Okay, that that's still we could just profit from building a bunch of grocery stores, and we'll still be fine. <laughs> 
However, uh, yeah, no, per capita taxation, I mean, dude, ah, uh, this is so painful. Uh, yes, cannot enact laws, whatever, okay, just, okay, you know what, we'll start bolstering up the intelligence, I'll start bolstering the, uh, industrialists. Hopefully we can get something out of these folk, I mean, bloody oath, okay, prestige, however, we are getting very, very close up there, which is great to see, um, I do maybe want to start going towards producing a lot of furniture, or luxury furniture at least, um, oh wow, what the heck, the North German Federation, or oh wow, okay, the North German Federation, not bad, we got that pretty quickly. Glassworks, um, 90, how much do we produce here? Oh, we produce about porcelain as well. Okay, not many people are uh, good with their glassworks. So, I mean, I think increasing our glassworks may actually help ourselves out a bit. So, doing that is going to be wonderful. I mean, having a level 7 food entry, I mean, look at that throughput bonus from our encouraging manufacturing industries and our wonderful economy of scale at 5% mem. That's absolutely mad. And we're also grabbing the atmospheric engine just so then we can profit off our iron mines just a little bit. Um, now, our war... We, oh, it looks like we can go to war with the Ottomans and it looks like Great Britain can join us. Now, that's exactly what I want to see. So, I think we'll go for Ottoman Montenegro and we'll obviously want to sway in Great Britain to take a treaty port in Libya. Uh, the wonderful mother nation. And I think we'll also go ahead and grab Bosnia from the Ottoman... I don't know why the Ottoman Empire's flag is like that. If anyone can explain to me why, I... I Great Britain sides with Great Britain. They're also sending troops over. And, um, wait, do we have it? Oh, our other ruler died. And it looks like the child, um... Oh, he's... Oh, sadly enough, he's an interest group. He's a jingoist, however. Okay, well, uh, I wouldn't say that's annoying... I'm not gonna, you know, say that, but, you know, fair. Uh, time to recruit a good general. Uh, sell it. Oh, they're all landowners. Of course they're all landowners. Ah, uh, yeah, maybe going for surveyor for home defense and offense. Yes, doing that is gonna be much, much better. So I guess we'll go right on ahead. Advance the front as well. Um, okie dokie. I mean, oh, dude, we pro oh, I should have put in Ottoman war reps. That would have been even better. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I only realizing this now? Oh, dude, this is my problem with like every strategy game I play. I'm like, oh yeah, war reps. Damn, kind of forgot about how that uh, how that existed. Okay, dude, that's been that's slowly going up. As long as that can get to 25, no, it went down. It's okay. We're doing good. Besma process, Ottoman Empire. I mean, we can easily take down the Ottomans, man. There's no way the Ottomans are gonna absolutely collapse. Yeah, which it's gonna be an absolute collapse, bro. <laughs> Yes, an interest great approval rate back up to 24. I just need another pop-up to help the industrialists kind of just to push him over the edge, you know. Um, however, it looks like the tides of war may change. Um, okay, I don't know how. Do we got even, we got more offense in them, and, but we're still losing. Damn, okay. Dude, 10,000 from grocery stores. Oh, my days. Do we produce more groceries than the United States of America? How does that happen? Just, I want to know how. All right, we just need to produce some glassworks. I mean, to be honest, once we conquer these territories, we'll easily become a minor power anyway. So, I mean, I'm not too worried about that. Um, oh, it looks like, oh, they, oh, oh. Really hope the Ottomans don't push. Uh, I mean, to be honest, they don't need to because, you know, Great Britain's Great Britain. Um, oh, wow. British war reps. That's a big one. Why do I have you? I need to retire. You, uh, supported by the insurrectionary trade unions. Yes, I can I can see. Oh, yes. Okay. Per capita taxation is moving. Okay. Holding on was a very good idea. Uh, see, let's see. And it looks like we're now finally getting a push on the Ottoman Empire. And I think it may split in two where we'll grab Skopje. I mean, Bosnia. So grabbing Bosnia will be good as well. I mean, we definitely need to probably start building some uh, <laughs> government administration buildings for the meantime. Uh, there. Oh, no. It did not split. Oh, that's annoying. But, uh, you yeah, know, that's a big L for the Ottomans, man. I mean, uh, that is everything we needed, really. Uh, it looks like we're uh, also doing a bit of investment, uh, the private uh, auto investment in the uh, tooling workshops, which is kind of nice. And we do have the atmospheric engine pump finally. So we'll just go ahead, obviously activate that. Look at that, dude. That just doubled immensely. So love to see that. Um, oh, cool. now we've got a legitimate... Oh, no, now it's back to being unacceptable. Okay, dude, you just got it. We just got to grab it per cabin taxation. I don't think we're going to get it. Yeah, I just, I don't think so. I generally don't think so. <laughs> Dude, look at the Ottomans. Oh, they're cowering in fear. 
Get, just give me Ev. Just give us what we need, my guy. Just give it. You've lost. Okay. You've lost. And we gained banking, bro. Banking made a huge difference there. I mean, look at our investment pool transfer. 9,000. Very, very nice. And it looks like uh, Great Britain may even be going for a naval invasion on Constantinople. It's actually philanthropy. Um, oh, higher enactment chance or higher lowest. Oh, we get a higher standard of living in the lower strata. And we get a negative three minimum expect in the upper strata. Now, I'm going to take the uh, plus 20%. To be honest, uh, I need per capita taxation to roll on through, Let man. I just need it. We need it pretty badly. All right, because if I have per capita, man, we are going to be... How much will we make even more with per capita? We'll be making... Oh, wow, 7,000 more. Oh, dude, yes. <laughs> Please. Oh, it's needed. It is very much so needed. Okay, so Glassworks, how are we looking? Uh, about 48. Uh, do we need to be producing at least like over 300, four, about 400 uh, more, which is insane. Ceramics, however, we are nowhere near up there. And we got, yes, we did it. We have got Montenegro and Bosnia, boys. Yes. I mean, we're still not a minor power yet. That kind of hurts. But to incorporate all these states, it will cost us around 20. Oh, wow. Actually, not that much. Oh, that kind of took me by surprise. And we gained per capita taxation, boys. Look at that. 8,000. Huge. <clears throat> oh, dude, look at that. Shoot right up. Holy moly. Okay, well, the best thing now is we can also start building a lot more construction sectors. And Bosnia has about so much more laborers uh, for us to work with, which is even better. So I think I'll also probably increase it up by two now. Uh, so doing that's going to be so much better. Um... Glassworks, I mean, 123, pretty, pretty good. Um, oh, dude, yeah, no, we've got to catch up a lot to just work with all these guys. Oh, my days. Uh, maybe luxury clothing may be in our strong suit. I mean, we do produce a lot of clothing ourselves. Um, I mean, I don't think half, I mean, luxury clothing, I mean, fabric is very hard to come by. I mean, you know, it would be pretty good. Uh, no, we just, no, we need the, uh, industrialists to kind of be, you know, they need to be a lot better. Uh, but yeah, no, the, do the, uh, industrialists are definitely carrying our government through and through, which is great. I mean, we could probably go towards free trade. Uh, but no, we are definitely now going to go ahead. So, wealth voting, I guess it gives, um, I guess we'll go towards wealth voting. I mean, we might as well go full, like, pure capitalism. I mean, I think that would be absolutely hilarious. Uh, so doing that might be great, and then hopefully we can move out of the monarchy into a presidential republic, because obviously our monarchy is absolutely terrible. We don't need them at all. And it looks like we're now starting to finish up the, uh, wonderful, uh, glasswork buildings, which is amazing, so love to see that. So I'm now starting to incorporate Montenegro, which is going to take around two years. I mean, we are suffering from a bit of a bureaucracy deficit, uh, but we are building our bureaucracy buildings, which shouldn't actually take too long, which is... Mwah. And it looks like the Ottomans and the... Oh, what, dude? <laughs> Wait, fr oh, did fr France's flag change? Oh, oh, that's right. The Oh, well, the... Uh, uh, how does... Oh, dude, I want to see... I want to know how they get that flag for France. That's so cool. Dude, would you look at that? They've got a French a port in Tripolitan. Dude, France doesn't even... They're just going to go... <laughs> just, oh, wow. Okay. Uh, that's very interesting indeed. All right. Well, it looks like we're profiting once again, which is great. I mean, now I think we can come over here to buildings urban. It's stuck in... There we go. We'll actually switch on over to filing cabinets. Uh, so hopefully we can build up to at least 80 uh, bureaucracy points so that we can chuck it on in to incorporate Bosnia, which will be huge. Okay. Um, oops. What was that? Sins of the past. The past is in the past. Yes. Okay. So it looks like... Uh, dude, gro dude, we have a grocery problem. I swear on my life. Groceries, coal, and iron are just like our worst nightmare, man. Oh my days. Um, holy moly. I mean, I mean, we're doing so well. Oh, there we go. We've got about 77. So we can now actually start to incorporate Bosnia. Hopefully that won't take... Yeah. Oh, it takes about five years. So that is also very, very well done. Absolutely love to see that. Um, but yeah, making our people have a much higher standard of living, which is going to be even better from the ground up. Oh, we might as well do that. Yes. 
Uh, Government-wise, it seems like, yeah, oh, we could have the industrialists and the landowners in, which is great. I mean, we just need the industrialists to have, so, like, a very high approval rate, high popularity, you know. They just need a lot of clout, you know. All right, looks like we also got crystal glass, which can now switch on over here. We can produce 150 more, which is even better. We produce about 273. Oh, look at that. We are even on. Woohoo! Beautiful. That's a wee beaut, lads. And it looks like we're also now going to grab fractional distillation and then later on a baking powder, which is going to be even better. I mean, dude, we're going to have... I think, do we still have the highest grocery store? Oh, it's about six in the world now. I mean, we do, we haven't really been expanding it or anything. And it looks like we also have a Serbian mass migration happening um, from our country to Mississippi. Wait, what? Large numbers of the Serbian people. Oh, wow. Did they Are they moving over to America? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, they do have a pretty high uh, standard of living. That's actually very interesting. And we got hydraulic cranes. Oh, we're not, oh, we're not building anything anymore. Um, what else do we want to build? Groceries, textile mills, chemical plants, steel mills, maybe some arms. To be honest, I see, I would build in Bosnia, but the only problem I have with Bosnia is because of the turmoil, so there's really no point doing anything. Um, I might, I, we'll start building in Montenegro, because we do have uh, quite a bit of people to spare around. So, I think we'll also build about two textile mills, and I say we just, uh, yeah, I'd say we expand on the grocery stalls over there just a little bit, so doing that would be great. You know, give the Montenegro people, uh, some jobs. I mean, turmoil-wise, man, that is, oh, that's hurting really badly. All right, institutions, we're gonna move on over, try and max out our law enforcement in et cetera, et cetera. Pass that. Okay, hopefully we can get well voting. Okay, so I'm gonna let time pass by and we'll be right back. All right, boys. I mean, look at this. It prefers that a lot of people want the industrialists and the intelligentsia in our government, which is absolutely amazing. Uh, we are trying to go for a professional army, really trying to push it. Uh, we look at the politics of the Ottomans, man. They are not doing well. I mean, we will go... Actually, we will end up going back to war with them. Our standard of living has... Uh, yeah, it's definitely taken a bit of a downfall. I don't know why, but it just has. Um, and it looks like uh, we do have an aristocratic uh, Austrian revolt happening. So that's also a thing. <laughs> so we have a truce with them for about an, another year, and we will definitely get our ball rolling on that. Um, however, we do have, you know, we still have a bit of a labor force left in Montenegro, which is great. I mean, the rest of it will go, obviously, into our grocery stores. About halfway to researching a baking powder, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, researching that will give us even more, uh, which is insane. I mean, we are still the third highest producer in the world. Uh, official power-wise, yeah, we still need to kind of climb ourselves up. Uh, but no biggie, obviously. So, I mean, other than that, glass works pretty good. I think where are we? 310, yeah, we're, at least we're in the top 10. And uh, porcelain, however, uh, yeah, we are not there yet. Um, but it's pretty good. I mean, we also do have wealth voting enacted, uh, which is all right, because obviously uh, legitimacy from government clout. And uh, knowing this, we take a look at the uh, industrialist men. Uh, their cloud at the moment is pretty high. 33, and obviously the intelligentsia are pretty high. So that is very good to see. But Bosnia is good. Uh, Montenegro, we have incorporated uh, institution-wise. Obviously, we've got level 3 with law enforcement. Uh, this will just start to die down as we go through the game. Uh, I, I, to be honest, I don't even know. I think it's just because we got the high taxes going on, which I do actually. Okay, can we lower that? Yeah, we can lower them down, which is very nice. So doing that is a very big thing. Uh, starting to lower down our tech just so we can increase the standard of living and kind of lower down the radicals so that we can uh, obviously pass laws a lot quicker. And we finally have professional army, a beautiful. I did lower down it just a bit. I'm kind of just make it, give it midway. Uh, resources, shipyards. Okay, so we do still have a lot more to go. Um, I say that we kind of just start stacking up um, our furniture just a little bit more, and then I think we can also go ahead and probably build about two more ports just to increase our market access, because, man, that is starting to fall apart just a bit, but looks like our standard of living is definitely shooting itself back up. GDP per capita almost in the top 20 uh, for both in the world, which is exactly what we want. 
And I mean, we are getting very close to going uh, in with another war on the Ottomans. But I think this time I'll grab Serbia and uh, Southern Serbia. Uh, so doing those like guys will be good. I'll probably grab Serbia's independence, uh, to be honest. Oh, there we go. The industrialists have even more political strength. I mean, my days. Um, romanticism, yes. Oh, wow, we could... You know, it's funny. We probably could get up there for iron mines as well. I mean, we're only four. We, we're only four prestige away. See, when we get, like, a really nice prestige buff or something, or something along the lines of that, man, it's absolutely killing me. It really is. Um, maybe we could switch over to hardwood production, and that may give us a bit of an edge. Maybe? Uh, not, probably not, because, I mean, uh, logging camps are still pretty small, uh, to be fair. <laughs> but I think it's now time we go to war on the Ottomans. Um, oh, actually, never mind. No, uh, Great Britain may not want to, uh, jump on in, and I don't want to, uh, risk that. So, uh, forget that I said going to war with, uh, the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> just, just forget I said anything, buddy. Uh, wow. Okay, I think France and Austria, oh, they're in a defensive pact. Very interesting. Who knows, maybe even freaking uh, Germany may get involved. I mean, we could end up coming, uh, grabbing Dalmatia, Croatia, and Slavonia. I mean, you never know, lads. You never know. The sky is the limit, if you ask me. I mean, to be honest, we only just need to increase our um, prestige. So there we go. We got baking powder. We're now going to go ahead and grab mechanical tools, which is going to take us 25 months. And uh, society, I think we might as well... Uh, military... Mm. Might as well also grab water to boiler. I mean, it is coming naturally. I just don't really know what else to research. Um, but we're going to come over here to buildings, urban, and we're now going to switch over to baking powder. Oh, my days. Look at that. Climb up. Hey, hell yeah. Okay, we're producing about 1,050. And it looks like we're now a minor power, which is great. And it looks like Two Sicilies wants to enter a defensive pact with us, which we will gladly accept, my brother. So doing that is amazing. Love to see that maybe... No, okay, thank you, Great Britain, for not giving a damn right about me. Looks like we do. We've been watching this kid grow up. He's now 16 years old. <laughs> Okay, looks like we can now declare our interest on a region. Um, I'm going to go right ahead and declare our interest probably in Indonesia. Probably grab Brunei for their gold mines, as you can see. Are they gold? Actually, no, they don't have gold fields. Uh -huh. Well, I'll just pop at you just for the uh, diplomatic packs, to be 100% honest with you guys. Just so I can, you know, lower down my taxes and give my people a better life, you know. Uh, do all the fun stuff. So, you know, we're going to go right ahead. How you doing, Brunei? Uh, definitely gonna turn you into a puppet state. Uh, look, oh, Great Britain will join. Uh, I guess we'll just offer them an obligation over us. I mean, that should be pretty cool. Great Britain sides with Great Britain. I mean, it's more than likely Brunei will hopefully back down, or Great Britain will just fight for us. But you never know. It is pretty good. I mean, we could even go after, uh, Greece if we wanted to. I mean, that, that's also a thing. Uh, laws, however, I mean, to be honest, we got a decent some pretty good laws. I mean, we could try and push for a presidential republic. I mean, we probably trigger a revolution. Yeah, no. Um, <laughs> oopsies. Uh, racial segregation. Definitely would like to move to that. Uh, also, total separation uh, from the church. Uh, obviously, we want to push for well, uh, poor laws and obviously propertied women. Um, to be honest, yeah, there's still a lot of laws we can go for. I mean, we'll just push for cultural exclusion. Uh, since we do have a lot of cultures, um, yeah, we got a lot to deal with. And I think a lot of them with national supremacy, uh, with you know them being in turmoil, man, uh, not really helping. Uh, and plus, a big tax waste is very bad. <laughs> So fixing up our little problem down here is definitely what we want. And we'll now move over to Bone China to even produce more uh, porcelain. Raising concerns. Uh, this needs... Uh, yeah, we'll just do that. I mean, by doing this, lads, I mean, look at that. The free trade party is just going to get even better. Um, okay, yeah, dude. They're just going to get so much clout. And I feel like I should maybe even hopefully try to end up uh, suppressing some of the lads. Um, oh, yeah, look at that. Look, <laughs> Great Britain. <laughs> Great Britain being Great Britain. What can I say? They do the dirty work for you. It, oh, we've almost in the top 10 for GDP per capita. Beautiful. That's a bit of a she's a bit of a beaut right there. And it looks like we've got a bit, yeah, uh, some tools are a little bit expensive. 
Uh, yeah, to be honest, we may need to just... Oh, we can't really build any railways. That sucks. But, I mean, to be honest, we can just build about... Yeah, I say we build about two more and we just stack up some grocery stores in Bosnia. I mean, that won't hurt anyone. I don't think it will. I mean, we got people going everywhere just so we can increase our mark. And we got a puppeted Brunei. Absolutely wonderful. Um, That's a very lovely flag. Nice to meet you, Sultan Mama. Ali Abulkaya. I mean, now we could obviously go ahead, you know, puppet everyone else, turn them into a dominion. And it looks, yeah, wow, Bulu... Did Bulu gain a bit of land, or has Bulu always been that big? I don't know, but also Katai's uh, had a bit of fun too. Thieves and Liars? Ooh, oh, dude, we could probably go for... A oh, we could go for the war on the Ottomans. Yes, I want Southern Serbia. Give me Southern Serbia, Yarant. And you know what we're going to do? We're going to call in Great Britain, but this time we are going to ban Slave Dude. Tripolitania is just getting... It's getting mad over there. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to liberate Bulgaria because liberating Bulgaria is a pretty big play because that means that the Ottomans will struggle with everything else now. And I say that, I mean, we could, and we're now going to ask them to transfer over Serbia to us. And, um, oh no, I, I don't think we'll be able to call over Great Britain anymore. Oopsies. That's not good. All right, boys. I want to check if, uh, Great Britain, oh, they do. Yes. Okay. That's actually made me happy. All right, so we're going to go ahead for a conquer state on southern Serbia, and we're going to go ahead. Obviously, we want to call in Great Britain to uh, offer them an obligation. So we do not want to drop lower than 20 uh, maneuver. Liberate country. That's going to give us 30. Liberating Bulgaria, and then we're just going to go ahead. Oh, no, we could have just transferred over Serbia. Ah, uh, you know, we'll just grab the Ottoman war reps and we'll roll with that. Okay, so hopefully that's good. Uh, looks like Austria is uh, moving a little bit over, uh, which is... I hope they kind of, you know, don't stick their nose in places where they shouldn't. Um, I don't know if... I'm hoping Great Britain sends people over. That would be wonderful. I mean, the... Oh, Austria also sides. Oh, no. Oh, what do they want? What do they want? What do they want? No, they just want to humiliate. Oh. Okay, uh, looks like they're sending a decent amount of- 33! How about this front? Hmm? Who's gonna defend that one? Huh, Great Britain? What are you gonna do about that one? Yeah? No? I mean, cause I'm telling you, dude, that devastation, that's gonna- gonna hurt a lot of people. I mean, I'm just saying. Holy crap, dude, we're making 12,000 from the grocery stores! <laughs> and our urban center is all- is about level 8, uh, getting close to level 10, I would like to presume. Ah, uh, yeah, it's, it's getting there. Very slowly. I mean, dude, we are pretty... We're rank 30 now. I mean, we've gone from, like, rank 80 all the way over here. Dude, we are gonna get clapped. What is this? Bro, how are you... How are we supposed to defend against Austrians coming in from the north? How do you guys plan on, like, I don't know, stopping it? Hang on, I'm, gonna de I'm gonna have to defend this front. This is ridiculous. Oh, my days, brother. You know, I gotta, like, I don't know, just... Yeah. I mean, it'll be nice if you can grab Southern Serbia. I mean, don't get me wrong. Oh, well, we're, we're, we're reputable already. Holy moly. I mean, don't get me wrong. To be honest, I probably should have just transferred Serbia over. But, like, at the exact same time, it's kind of just like, eh. <laughs> oh, wait, Ginge. Was that? That's not the guy. Oh, that's Kazim. Oh, this is the guy who kind of got a bit of a... He's disliked. What about you? Oh, yeah, no, people do like our little industrious leader, uh, which is all right. Um, we do have police, we, uh, the, fo we cannot tolerate this behavior. Okay, um, hey, Great Britain, don't want to be that guy, but I'm kind of, like, asking for a bit of help, you know, want to help a brother out? No, because, I mean, that's cool. I mean, I'm fine with that, that's, that's all right. I mean, I'll just take a big L here. I mean, oof, um, I mean, to be honest, I'm not even a negotiating participant. I mean, like, why would Great Britain want to help me when they can just get whatever the heck- Oh, well, looks like we might even- Oh, dude, the Ottomans beat the Brits in a naval war? What? Dude, what am I looking at there? Holy moly. Um, yeah, defense, however, not good. And, well, the Austrians, if they beat us, okay. Um, defensively, we're doing okay. See, I think the, uh, the Austrians just got caught in with an obligation, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not, I should have checked. I didn't really check. Um... I mean, yeah, I mean, we do we don't even, do we even have skirmish infantry? No, we do not have skirmish infantry. Oh boy, we are definitely lacking uh, when it comes to, you know, big next door neighbor, Austria. Um, you know, probably grabbing Skopje might not have been like the, 
you know, the, 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 you know, the best of best of ideas. Austria seems to have grabbed Southern Serbia, uh, right out. Oh, that's okay. looks like our, <laughs> we're not out of the war just yet. Just yet. We're not, we're not out of it yet. Uh, cultural exclusion failed, right? Laws, uh, intervention. You know, we could go La Cez Fair. I mean, I think, oh, the following war goes on. Oh, did Tripoli, oh, wow, Tripolitania did get its, uh, independence. Well, that's very lovely to see. Congrats, Tripolitania. Uh, wow, or oh, do Britain really send their forces over? <laughs> I really hope they don't force a peace, uh, because that would kind of suck. Uh, defensively, General Zephyr, come on. Oh, wow, the kid's 18. Wow, you... You got it. You grow a beard pretty quickly. I mean, I swear we saw him like 16. How did this kid grow? My man's grew facial hair out of fucking nowhere. Listen, Great Britain, I am sorry. Okay, I don't have the uh, the military prowess that you guys do. Okay, I'm just a small nation that you're helping out. I guess, dude. Why did there's still so many war flags over there? That kind of annoys me a bit. No, oh, I was hoping for them to get the naval in. Dude, oh, they probably got help from uh, Austrian ships, actually, now that I think about it. I mean, dude, the Ottomans are going to get absolutely wrecked the moment we they get into Eastern Trace. Uh, we've even got Water 2 Boiler now, even better. I think we'll grab Rotary Valve Engine and Mechanize Workshops. Reform the government, chuck everyone in, yes. Um, yeah, dude, La Cez Fair would be amazing to have. Obviously, we should ban the dueling. Okay, no, to be honest, we could... Actually, uh, move our troops over? Oh, okay, well, that fucking failed. Um, okay, no, 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 why is that? Why did they go up north, bro? You were so close to the capital, you idiots. You were big to zongi, dumb, dumb, big, dumb, and dumb. Oh, gosh, okay, well, I think this war may end in a, a white piece. Yeah, no, this war's definitely gonna end in a white piece. There's no way it's not gonna end in a white piece, man. Um, I don't really think I can push anyone else over, really. Uh, bro, they've just managed to clap back. You guys have done a very shit job. Can I? Oh, okay, now they're starting to push downwards. Okay, we we need a strategic designated street. Okay, we got to push for Constantinople, okay? That's the goal. That is the goal. We will not tolerate failure, okay? Failure is unacceptable. Oh, uh, oh, they want... Oh, there's a revolution to enact racial segregation. Wow, how beautiful. Um, all right. Hopefully, we'll get straight onto it. Okay. Oh, dude, once I get the greens farms, it's... Yeah, it's okay. Don't you go down. Don't you go down. You do exactly what you need to do. Following war goals are enforced onto Austria. Yes, let's go, dude. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I got lucky. Uh, yes. I got very, very lucky. Oh, Ottoman Empire. Now you know what it's like to taste true defeat. Oh, boy. I'm telling you now, I'm going to suffice in your demise. <laughs> okay, so when we do grab uh, Southern... S what in the living fuck? How did... Dude, how does that... I don't understand how fronts in this game work. I really don't. Um, I mean, how much are they losing? Five, and they're also losing, like, three. Ah, oh, dude. Yes. Oh, there we go. Absolutely wonderful. Love to see that. Love to see the big defeat of the Ottomans, even though we've been conquered, like, twice, and it's been very painful to witness. But you know what? We, we, we're we getting past that, okay? Um, how's the devastation looking? Not good. I mean, our city is... Oh, yeah, no, it is burning up like crazy. Okay. Have a good... Yeah. Surely you, just, you guys just give up, you know? I mean, I can't wait. You know, Bulgaria is out. Uh... I mean, to be 100% honest, we have a big victory. Yeah. And there we go, boys. We have grabbed Southern Serbia and we have liberated our good friend Bulgaria. And it looks like the Ottoman Empire is... Yeah, no, they are definitely out of it. <laughs> uh, GDP per capita has kind of fallen a little bit, obviously, because we have conquered a little bit more land. I mean, to incorporate all these... Uh, oh, wow, it's 127 to grab. I mean, yeah, so that is absolutely amazing. And when, obviously, when... Um, well, get once our truce with Bulgaria ends, we could actually end up puppeting them or turning them into a dominion. So then, obviously, we can grab the rest of the Ottoman territory in the Balkans and kind of just ending uh, the Ottomans there, you know? I mean, but other than that, lads, I mean, yeah, this was pretty fun. I mean, we have done pretty well uh, playing as Albania, obviously conquering Serbia, liberating Bulgaria. If I was to do a part two, it would definitely be to take down the Ottomans, uh, either puppeting them as well. 
Uh, number two, probably, uh, obviously, Dominion, uh, Bulgaria, or Puppet in either one. Uh, but yeah, other than that, pretty fun playthrough. Uh, yeah, really excited to do Victoria 3 releasables. If you guys want to see more Victory 3 releasable nations, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Peace out.